Hi, can I get a uh, nitro cold brew? And do you guys have um, uh, sugar in the raw? Yeah. Could I have a couple of those? Yeah. Did you want Thank more you. sugar? No, it's okay. fine. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Seriously, the only pre-workout that you need. Don't fuck with that other fake shit. I swear, I only drink coffee for my pre-workout. So for anyone who is asking what kind of pre-workout I take, just plain old black coffee with a little bit of sugar and real sugar. Okay. But that's not what I wanted this video to be about. I wanted to talk about why I take a shot of whiskey before I deadlift. Pounds, Kelly from San Diego, California. And then on the blue platform, up next is Stacy Burr, who's going to be a ticket 282.1 pounds. Steve Dixon. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Please come to the front desk. Steve Dennison to the front desk, please. Here goes Amber, 391.3 pounds. This Amber locked it out enough to make the judges happy. She does three white lights. Great job, Amber. think whiskey is my pre-workout no it's not I never I would never drink alcohol before a full session of a workout I would only drink it for a deadlift if you are new to powerlifting or if you don't know what powerlifters do to get themselves hyped up before a big lift a lot of powerlifters take nose torque or they will do back slaps or they'll take drugs like they'll, they'll just inject themselves with some steroids. I don't know, depends on what federation you're in. If you guys don't know what nose torque is, nose torque is ammonia. You know, the stuff that you clean your house with and then you take a whiff, it makes your eyes tear up and then your nose burn. Yes, that's what powerlifters use before they lift. A shot of whiskey for me is like the equivalent of a nose torque to every other powerlifter. Um, now, nose torque, uh, back slaps, they increase your blood pressure. It gives you a small adrenaline rush, which a lot of people like before they lift. Um, that way they can lift a little bit more weight because mentally it prepares you up here. It doesn't have to do anything physically. Um, 
except for the steroids part. I don't know, I don't take steroids, so I wouldn't know. But anyways, for me, I'm naturally hyped up when I deadlift, and when I get too hyped up, I overthink a lot, and when I overthink, I fuck up my deadlift so bad. On my last meet, I my opener, I was so, like, antsy that literally I got called for downward motion because of how fast I went, and I was thinking in my head, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, and then I fucked up. So naturally, I take a shot of whiskey to help calm down my nerves. It literally, everybody's like, oh, it's a depressant. Why would you want to take a depressant? Well, no shit, that's why, because I'm way too hyper when I deadlift. So I take a shot of whiskey to help calm myself down and concentrate. You know, a little bit of that liquid courage. You know, like when you're in a club or something. I don't know. What, what do you guys, what do, what do you guys do? Like party? <laughs> What is partying? Anyways, and then you see a hot girl, but then normally you would be too chicken shit to go ask her out. A couple drinks in, you're like, oh fuck yeah, I could do this. That's basically what I do when I deadlift. And it helps me mentally. It doesn't help me physically at all. So don't think whiskey is a pre-workout, cause it's not. It's just only when I do a big deadlift and that's it. And I literally drink like this much. I don't even drink a full shot, like a baby, like a maybe, like a sip of whiskey. So that is why I do whiskey and deadlifts. Anyways, I am at the gym right now. I am going to deadlift today. It is not a heavy day, so no whiskey for me. It's just gonna be me and my coffee. And um, I am actually doing conventional, <laughs> who am I? I? So I normally pull sumo because I am stronger at sumo. However, it is off season, so I need to work on my weaknesses. And that means to get my freaking conventional up to around 400 pounds where my sumo roughly is. I have no idea where my conventional is because I haven't trained it in like two years because I always throw out my back with conventional. But I'm gonna play it smart and go really light, lots of volume to kind of build up my back in order to get stronger for the lift. And yep, let me just down this coffee and then we can go lift. So I just finished working out and I got myself a pokey burrito and also a macaroon ice cream for later because i am been craving ice cream for a while. And yeah, I just realized I freaking suck at recording the rest of my workout. I literally just record like three exercises and then I forget to do the rest. But it was kind of boring anyways. No one wants to watch the full thing. Thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Do this real quick. Look at how bomb. Mm. So good. Mm.